rarely do I get very enthusiastic about a movie. It happens three or four times a year, a new movie that is. But this one, The Eight Mountains, playing now on Criterion Channel, they're going to re release a disc on Janus Films, is a very good movie for cinephiles, for anybody who loves nature cinematography. It's a beautiful friendship story that I urge a lot of you to see. The movie is co-directed by Felix Van Groningen, Charlotte Vandermeer. They have made a movie about two Italian men who are friends from childhood. You see them grow up over time. This film spans 30 plus years. A lot of space as well, as you might imagine with the movie titled Eight Mountains. A lot of mountains in this movie. The nature cinematography is absolutely outstanding. And even though it's four by three aspect ratio, I thought that was gonna be a gimmick when I started watching this movie. It is an ideal framing for it. And they these directors are masters of their craft. They've adopted a novel here and I haven't read it, but I think this movie is novelistic in its scope and its feeling and its subtle quality. It is a very literary work. It's about two men who are friends, as I said, from childhood. But the interesting twist is, you know, one of them is sort of estranged emotionally from his father while the other one is sort of adopted in the family and the father likes him. It's an odd, almost Old Testament or even prodigal son dynamic in a way. And yet, things as things unfold over a 30 year period, the two men unite in their friendship. They rebuild a cabin in the Alps. They're Italians, and one of them is more of a local farmer. He's doing artisanal cheese and other kind of farming. And the other one is going off to the city and writing novels. That's Pietro. Bruno's the one staying by the farm. But they, they rebuild a cabin. They enjoy a friendship there. There are a lot of great, great scenes in cinematography featuring the two of them or each of them as they're having conversations. We're able to watch them grow up, deal with these different relationships with the father, deal with the fact that they were childhood friends of, of different abilities and different means. Pietro is the worldly one going off, as I said, into the city. He's going also to Tibet, which in which there are mountains as well and is experiencing a wildly different culture, place, and time. And Bruno is staying locally. And I think those tensions between the friends with the father and with their different interests really simmer for a while. And then you get some interesting, I don't even think it's, you know, in a movie like this, normally you get some like, tension or blow up from this tension. It never has that. It's a very subtle movie. And yet it's always majestic in its scope, or a lot of times majestic in scope and cinematography. What really got me was the story, the acting, the cinematography, but especially the framing by the directors. They are masters. They know how to make each shot count for the conversation where the characters are within the story. It's really a movie lover's dream. I have no doubt over multiple viewings, this film will hold up and be great. Well, maybe I have a little doubt. I always wonder about my first viewing, but I think this movie, it's a beautifully told story and it evokes the giant questions of what is real friendship? How do you maintain a real friendship when you change yourself as a person and you grow apart, go your separate ways, have different interests over time? Can childhood friends maintain a relationship, especially when they have this sort of, these sort of mixed uh, views and emotions about a father figure they once, who they once knew in different ways? And what sustains a friendship? What sustains a real true friendship? And you know, that giant question for the modern world, it showed up in The Banshees of Inisherin by Martin McDonough in a different way where the friendship splits or fractures at the beginning of that movie. I think this movie is a nice compliment, a really nice compliment to that movie, saying different things about a world in which we say we're friends. You know, Facebook has, a, you can have a trillion friends on Facebook. Well, what is a real friendship? The classic question, universal philosophical question, and it's a particularly Italian one is this movie is set in Italy, Northern Italy. You know, I think of Augustine's Confessions, a man who was in Italy for part of that great book, also Dante, Petrarch, and the list goes on. I mean, this movie, not necessarily hearkening back to those, but joining in a conversation with them and using that particular locale to examine universal issues, and particular friends to examine universal issues. This movie is slower paced, but I didn't think it was that slow. I would call it an adagio to the Allegretto, the very fast paced movies we're used to. It's Nuri Beige Jalan, the Turkish director whom I love, Winter Sleep, but it's faster than that. And so, cinephiles, people who love beautiful cinematography, stories about friendship, male bonding sorts of friendships, but with other things going on in there. I think all people who have those interests will absolutely enjoy this movie 
may not love it like me, but I think we'll, we'll get a lot out of it. I don't do this very often, and for good reason. I declare this one of the best movies of the year, but I can't tell whether it was a 2022 movie. It says, you know, Letterbox, other places say 2022. I think it was released on fest in festivals of that year, but I really feel like this is a 2023 movie because it was released to the masses of people like me and you this year, so I'm gonna call it a movie for this year. I think this is one of the year's best movies. Have you seen this movie? What do you think of it? I'm not giving much away about it because I think this is an experience, but it's one of those rare movies that's both intimate and expansive at the same time. Boy, you just don't get that with movies. You either get one or the other, but not both. And the vision here to do both is remarkable. And I would urge people into directing, cinematography, anything at all within the movie industry to watch this movie. It's I think it's very, very well done. So again, what do you think of Eight Mountains? Let us know in the comments. Please subscribe to the channel for more great reviews and content. Thank you. Have a great day.